Thank you, Azirin, uh, and welcome to AIN. Uh, Azirin is one of our uh, new members of the Secretariat. Um, I hope sometime, Azirin, we can also see you later in the open. Yes. It's introducing health informatics and health financing in health sciences institutions. It used to be medical uh, schools, but I, I saw that there's an opportunity as well to also use the material for nursing schools, uh, medical technology schools, uh, and other allied health um, uh, training programs. So I changed the title to Health Sciences Institution. Some disclosures, I don't have any financial interests in the technologies that I will be presenting. I am presently uh, on leave from the University of the Philippines, Manila, where I am Professor of Surgery and Health Informatics. Presently, I am the Senior Vice President and Chief Information Officer of the Singlox Medical Center, and of course, uh, the Executive Director of the Asia e Health Information Network. So what is health informatics? Uh, many definitions that you can find uh, on the internet, uh, but this has been uh, a definition that I've been using uh, since I started. It is the organization and management of information for patient care, education, research, and administration. Health financing, on the other hand, I called it from the WHO uh, uh, website as the uh, health financing policy uh, focuses on mobilizing and pooling financial resources and allocating them to healthcare providers in an equitable and efficient way to enable provision of essential health services of good quality to all, especially to the poorer communities and in populations in rural areas. And specifically, these are the components uh, that are part of a health financing program. Raising revenues, um, therefore creating opportunities and minimizing constraints, pooling health revenues, purchasing, designing a benefit package, health financing and public finance management, and coordinating the farm. And as you will see later on, uh, the, the training program that we are promoting will have these components built into their uh, package. So this is a book that uh, was recently published at Springer. We have a chapter here uh, on health informatics education in the different countries in Asia. You can download this, just uh, click on the link at the bottom. We will share the slides with you later on. And in that chapter, uh, led by uh, Professor N.T. Chung from Hong Kong, uh, several uh, Asian educators uh, wrote something about how they're doing their education. I co-wrote the Philippines with Dr. Iris Isip Tan and Professor Bajira uh, wrote one for uh, Sri Lanka, for the University of Colombo. So why are we talking about this? Uh, why do we need to talk about health informatics and health financing? Well, many, many reasons, but I think one of the most important reasons is that uh, many countries, if not all, have agreed to work together to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. And the uh, United Nations um, has uh, pushed for the SDGs and they've set a target of 2030. And one of the Sustainable Development Goals is focused on healthcare. And the way the Sustainable Development Goal for Healthcare was written out is that it puts a lot of focus on universal health coverage. So it wants to leave behind the Millennium Development Goals where uh, we set the things like decrease in maternal mortality, decrease in infant mortality, and now we're shifting to uh, availability of quality healthcare at the cost uh, everyone can afford. And uh, the universal health coverage is, as a concept uh, has started to percolate. And the concept of universal health coverage actually requires a lot of number crunching, data analysis, and this is where the marriage of health financing and health informatics or health information systems come to play. So we think that as we move along from today to 2030, in the context of sustainable development goals, many of us will start to understand more about health informatics and health financing because uh, they are two important components of successful universal health coverage. And I'm not saying this as a, uh, as a guesswork. This is what the, our friends in Thailand and Taiwan 
are, are already doing. They've done good work on health financing and health informatics. And I think that's why they're really moving uh, very fast towards achieving their universal, universal health coverage. As a matter of fact, in 1995, uh, Philippines and Taiwan launched our universal health coverage together in 1995. And Taiwan has achieved it much, much earlier than the Philippines. Even in Thailand, uh, they started in 2003, and they were able to achieve it in three to four years. Correct me later, uh, Dr. Bunchai, if I'm wrong. And I, I'll, I'll share stories later on, on how they were able to do that. But very quickly, they did very good work combining health informatics and health financing. There are many sources of health informatics education. Uh, I did not list here uh, Haidon University uh, in Thailand. They have a training program on masters in public health informatics. One of the most popular ones and one of the older ones are the National Library of Medicine sponsored advanced degree programs. I think Dr. Bunchai is a graduate uh, of this uh, NLM sponsored program in uh, Minnesota. Now there's a, there's a global group called the International Medical Informatics Association or IMIA. And inside EMEA, there are many working groups. And the first working group is actually a working group on health informatics education. And they came up with a framework of what should be taught in a advanced program in medical informatics. And then they ask universities to get themselves accredited against that uh, set of uh, criteria for health informatics education. In, in Asia, we have two universities that have been accredited by the EMEA. One of them is the Taipei Medical University and the other is the University of Gadjamada. And I'm not surprised here because a lot of the professors of the University of Gadjamada uh, took their training at the Taipei Medical University. So I think there's really a very strong relationship between TMU and UBM. Of course, uh, welcome to AHIN. Uh, you are now members because you participated in our webinar. Uh, we have a lot of webinars. These are informal training programs. You can follow us at uh, We Are AHIN at YouTube and at uh, Twitter. Uh, there's, uh, we have a channel at YouTube and you can just watch uh, at your own uh, convenience. Health Information Management uh, System Society or HIMSS.org also have a lot of material. Uh, some of them are free, but uh, many of them uh, you need to have a membership, uh, which is quite expensive. But if you do have membership membership in HIMSS, uh, they have... ...health informatics education sources that you can tap uh, on the internet. As you can see, my internet connection is unstable because there is a typhoon right now raging outside my house. For health financing education, again, I'm not an expert here. Um, many schools uh, have faculties of economics, faculties of public health. The London School of Economics is one of the most popular ones uh, for health financing. I know some of my colleagues uh, who finished their master's and PhD program at LSE. And there's a network like AHIN called the Joint Learning Network. And they also uh, uh, provide capacity building programs and they develop knowledge products around health financing. If AIN is the network for health informatics, Joint Learning Network is the network for health financing. And we've been uh, partnering with Joint Learning Network for our general meetings since the beginning uh, we've always invited uh, people from the Joint Learning Network to participate in our general meeting. Which reminds me, Charisse, I think we should send an invitation to JLM to join us in our upcoming general meeting uh, this January. There are also courses that you can take at WHO. So they uh, have an e-learning course on health financing policy and UHC. Just go to who.int and look for this course. Uh, I've started to take this course actually. And then they offer face-to-face -face advanced courses on health financing for universal coverage. And I think uh, Dr. Bunchai and the Thai are very active uh, faculty uh, in this advanced course on health financing. So uh, I think this course is face-to-face, -face, but we are now contacting uh, the 
the faculty of this course and try to ask if they can offer this online for some of our members. Now, the challenges right now with health informatics combined with health financing education is that uh, there's not really a lot of uh, universities or courses that offer this in a combined way. So usually they're still fragmented. The, in one school, like University of the Philippines, Manila, the College of Medicine and uh, will offer the Medical Informatics Master's Program and the College of Public Health will have uh, their own health financing program. Uh, so they're not yet, you know, uh, being offered in a combined way. Of course, uh, in health financing, it's almost impossible uh, not to work with data and information. So I think we need to qualify. What do you mean by health informatics? If you need a lot of information crunching already, if you do already a lot of information crunching in health financing, I think the health informatics part is really the building, the designing and the building and the maintenance of this big health information systems. That's more the domain of health informatics. While health financing is looking at the data inside those health information systems and uh, analyzing them and interpreting them from the perspective of health finance policy. So I, I hope that, that those two elements are very clear. And only recently have they started to come together because these are two very difficult disciplines, you know, like designing electronic medical records, designing artificial intelligence uh, systems. That would, that would be the domain of health informatics. But then the health financing people, they work heavily with data and uh, information, but really for purposes of understanding all of these so that they can come up with a good health financing policy. So right now there's no overarching framework that merges these two disciplines. And I don't know if uh, there will ever come a time when this will actually be a master's program in health informatics and health financing. I think those two fields are very, very mature vertically. At the same time, I think there's an opportunity to understand both disciplines in a very simple way. And that's what we are proposing in this introductory course. So the premise and the question we ask ourselves is, can we actually teach health informatics and health financing at the same time? And our premise is yes, not as deep as a master's in health informatics and a master's in health financing combined, but rather just a simple course in undergraduate medical school or nursing school, just enough, simple enough for them to understand how to you, how does health information and health financing come to play at the same time. And there are, I think, many benefits if they start teaching health informatics and health financing at the same time. One is the cross-sector understanding. Uh, of course, the health financing people already understand the importance of data and information for health financing purposes. But I think the health informatics people need also to understand what health financing policy is all about so that they can design the electronic medical record and the insurance management information system more effectively so that these systems can feed better data into health financing policy formulation. For those who are interested here, as early as medical school, if you become very good at it, then you, you actually have a multi-potential career. You can be a clinician, you can be a health informatics specialist, or you can be a health finance specialist. So because you start early, you get to understand the domains earlier and you can now make uh, a specialty decisions later on. Dr. Bunchai and I and Dr. Fazila uh, decided to do health informatics. Dr. Banzon and some of, uh, and then Dr. Bunchai's colleagues, some of them chose to go through health financing. So I think we need both. And I think once the, the specialists uh, work together and are collaborating together, they're they will be able to create better systems and generate better data. Of course, you can also uh, specialize on both. For the answer to the question, can we combine health informatics and health financing? We would like to propose a very simple system called Open Image, where you can set up a laboratory for your medical school or nursing school and inside the laboratory, you have a software called OpenEMIS. 
And by going through the laboratory manual, you actually start learning concepts of health informatics and health financing. So if you go to the AHIN um, YouTube channel, you will see a lot of open image uh, training uh, programs already. Uh, you can go through them at your convenience. Or if you are a medical school and you want to uh, receive training for your faculty and your students, just contact us and we will set one up for you. Uh, we have uh, funding support from the German Development Agency or GIZ and for the next six months, uh, any medical school who wish to obtain training for their faculty and student, uh, we can uh, help you uh, arrange for that. Uh, this is for the Philippines, but if you are from another country and you are also interested and you're able to organize your own audience over there, let us know. Uh, that training program is also available for other countries uh, who are members of AHIN. We've gotten a lot of support from student organizations in the Philippines. So if you also have student organizations, medical student organizations in your own country, I really encourage you to work with them because they're very, very dynamic, very uh, uh, energetic, and they can really organize themselves very well. Uh, Open EMIS and AHIN uh, will give you the resource persons. Uh, as long as you commit to organizing the audience on your side, we will make available our resource persons, consultants, and experts for your training. So open EMIS is short for Open Insurance Management Information System. It is free and open source software developed by the Swiss Tropical, uh, from the, uh, Swiss Tropical Foundation for Public Health and the GIZ. And this is cloud-based. Uh, we have our laboratory running on Amazon Web Service and the users are one administrator who will then create uh, user accounts for insurers and providers. Uh, this started out as real world, real life software being used for insurance systems in Tanzania and Nepal. And uh, we have started to create a community of practice uh, in AHIN in several countries to start promoting the concept of health informatics and health financing packaged in one uh, software called Open EMIS. So Open EMIS combines concepts of health informatics and health, and health financing, not really very deeply or in a very vertical way, but more in a horizontal way, how health information contributes to health financing. So on the left, uh, uh, you can see all of the components of health financing that I, I mentioned. And on the right would be the popular uh, health informatics projects that many students work on when they're taking a, a, a program, a training program on health informatics, uh, electronic medical records, big data, population health, health information exchange, uh, health information systems interoperability, coding classification and terminology, organization and management of health information, governance and management, enterprise architecture. So those two fields are very complex in themselves. We are not going deep on each of those fields, but rather we are just selecting very simple concepts on each side and put them into the open EMIS cloud system. And we created a uh, a training manual and a training program uh, supporting it. And these are the, for the Philippines, these are the training programs that we've conducted. We've done TOT, or Training of Trainers, at the University of the Philippines, Manila. That's my institution. And then uh, one last November for St. Luke's College of Medicine. And then another for the Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health in San Marley. And then just before COVID, we had one with some data University where Dr. Julius Migrino was one of our TOTs. These are our pictures uh, last year at the University of Philippines, Manila. Uh, Dr. Ais Isiptan is on my left in front and Dr. A.G. Rosario is on the extreme left. So these are a combination of master's students and faculty of the Masters of Health Informatics. This is the training that we gave at uh, St. Luke's College of Medicine, Dr. Sharma Ojeda from St. Luke's uh, faculty, uh, was one of our uh, faculty at St. Luke's College of Medicine. And then we had students uh, from Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health, 
uh, with our expert, Dr. Dante Salvador, an expert in health financing, uh, helping out. And then we had Sanbeda, uh, our most recent medical school, where Dr. Julius Migreño on the extreme right uh, was one of our uh, faculty trainers. So you can see the training manual uh, uh, that we created for this course. Uh, this manual is available for free. Just let us know if you want to have access to the manual. We do encourage you to also avail of the training program. It's also free. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good package to have the training program and the training manual at the same time. If you can uh, gather your faculty uh, and some students, uh, we can provide you the training and the, and the, uh, and the laboratory training manual. So we created two manuals. One is the manual for the faculty, for the teachers, and one would be the manual for the medical students. So the idea of the manual is that you go to each page one by one and learn the features of Open EMIS, learning concepts of health informatics and health financing at the same time. Now in Indonesia, who is also a member of the AHIN community of practice, they conducted their own Open EMIS uh, capacity building from August to October 2019. And in, in this case, their target audience were the graduate students majoring in public health. So they, it's a combination of face-to-face -face and e-learning at the Gajamada. Gajamada is in uh, Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Their aim is a little different from the Philippines, uh, is to investigate the potential use of open EMIS in strengthening health insurance learning for public health. If in the Philippines, it was more for medical schools, in Indonesia, it's more for public health. And they have a, a two-year MPH program uh, that started in 1990, where they get 200 to 300 students. And they found Open EMIS as a good way to package uh, concepts of health informatics and health insurance systems, health finance systems uh, in one training package. Okay. So they embedded Open EMIS to strengthen their master's program. They're using uh, the software, the videos from the webinars, and they're, they've embedded this into their master's program. So that's how they did this in Indonesia. So the evaluation, uh, they did a module evaluation, the tutor evaluation, and the self-evaluation. And uh, they, they, they will continue to uh, integrate EMIS into their Masters of Public Health. Now, the challenges of health informatics and health finance teaching in medical schools really is that we don't even have enough teachers for health informatics alone or health, info, health financing alone. And now we're trying to look for teachers who are hybrid, who are both health informatics and health financing. I don't think we will really get enough teachers for that. Number two is that there's really varying understanding of the faculties on what health, health informatics and health financing mean. And that, that's fine because um, the, the two fields are very diverse and uh, it's good to have many different ideas about this, these concepts. The important thing is that we continue to have discourse and discussions to refine the concepts behind each discipline. There's no conducive environment for studying health financing. I mean, if you want to study this, you either work for a health maintenance organization or a health insurance agency, or you work with, uh, in Thailand, if you work with NHSO, in Philippines, PhilHealth, or in uh, Indonesia, you work with DPJS. These are the national health insurance agencies. And in some countries in Asia, they have not yet adopted UHC. So it's very difficult to like convince the medical schools to study both health informatics and health financing. But really what we wanted to address with the Open EMIS training program is the lack of available laboratory uh, material and training manuals. So now with Open EMIS, we have the software, it's on the cloud, and we have the training manuals. We have the webinars and we have the experts, uh, resource persons who, be, who can be tapped to provide the training for you. So I hope that the last bullet, uh, we've been able to address it with the Open EMIS training program. Okay. So aside from that, uh, the community of practice, we also received training from Germans and the Swiss to develop the system. So this is also open for you. If you join us, you can, uh, 
if you join the Open EMS AHIN community of practice, we will also invite you to these uh, sessions with the international experts and resource persons. Of course, we also develop our own local uh, capabilities to our local experts like Dr. Dante Salvador and Dr. Nemel Pautagana on health financing. Mr. Art Onkeko for health informatics, who is, by the way, in the U.S. right now, uh, finishing his master's uh, in the U.S. Health data, health data privacy from attorney Dr. Ivy Patdu and a hands-on workshop from our chief technology officer at UP Manila National Telehealth Center, Mr. Eric so I think uh, I'll stop here and basically just invite all of you to uh, avail of the AHIN Open Image Training Program. If you're a medical school, nursing school, or any school interested in getting your material, understanding it, so that you can later on use it for your own training, please contact us. In the Philippines, we will be promoting this to the Association of Philippine Medical Colleges. There are 52 medical colleges in the Philippines right now, and we've only cut four. So I think another 48 uh, uh, is possible. Uh, what really helped us in the Philippines is we uh, worked with the Asian Medical Students Association or AMSA. These students uh, are actually studying in those medical schools, the four medical schools I told you, and then they were the ones who recruited their faculty members. So by doing that, uh, we were able to do faculty to faculty engagement and also student to student and student to faculty engagement. So that really helped us a lot in uh, promoting open emails. And I'll stop there and I'll give the floor now to Azurin to um, call our reactors. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Alvin. Next, let's hear from our reactors their insights regarding the health informatics and health financing education. We would like to invite Dr. Min Sambat from Cambodia to share his experience. Dr. Sambat, the floor is yours. Thank you, Asrin, and uh, thank you, Dr. Alvin, for your great presentation. So uh, this is topic about the health informatics and health financing that uh, fit to the my HPT for 10 years about this. So uh, I'm a contributor or founder for the health informatics with the Ministry of Health and also the health financing. So that we in Cambodia, we have the health reforms in 1996, and then uh, we revived for the First proposal about the health financing that we had the chapter that can have the user fee at the health facility and also the the income to increase the income and uh, incentive to the provider. So this service starts in uh, uh, 96. And uh, for the informatics, we upgrade and use uh, in uh, 2010 and a uh, medical record PMOA, we start in uh, 2011. So this, uh, the first is just for the health informatics for both both our system, but uh, later on in uh, 2019, MOA adopted the PMF as a health financing. So we use this uh, PMF for the health financing uh, tracking and claim from the government through the all health facility in Cambodia. So that this, uh, so in uh, health financing in Cambodia, we have many mechanisms like uh, high fund for the poor that uh, through the reimbursement from the government when the poor access to the healthcare. And also we have like uh, incentive for the delivery, like uh, patient come to the delivery, they can get incentive from the provider and cash transfer for the some like uh, ANC immunization and insurance larger community and uh, the health insurance. So we have many mechanisms for the health financing in Cambodia. And uh, right now we seem to have integrated some large uh, information system and uh, health financing together with the PMI and the claim and uh, run by the government. So the Ministry of Health created one institute we call the uh, payment certific certification agency that under the MOA and this uh, agency uh, funded by the Ministry of Economic and Finance, they have the staff and uh, can uh, recruit the staff and uh, manage for the PMI for the medical record and also for the health financing for the reimbursement. So this uh, experience that uh, creates success from the Cambodia on the, and uh, for the education also we have started uh, to integrate the health informatics and also the health financing to the the education system that we have two schools that uh, start for the like uh, master of the hospital administration at the National Institute of Public Health. So far, we uh, try we uh, get the like uh, or the sick brain. So uh, 
one year we have one one uh, class so then we have six class at least so maybe since uh, 2016 or something and also the integrate into the the medical uh, university of health science that a uh, bachelor degree of public health so this uh, the concept of health informatics and uh, health financing were integrated into the curriculum and uh, i'm uh, teaching on the health informatics system for both university and uh, link today i have the question to dr alvin about the open MIS. So for the training curriculum, how many modules that they integrate into the existing for the nursing or the master public health that you described in the presentation? So. Okay, now, Dr. Sambat, we have uh, one module. We can finish the module in three hours. Uh, the module, we start with ethics. Uh, there are parts in the module like ethics of health information. Uh, then we have uh, introduction to health financing, and then we do a hands-on. No, it's not a very, very detailed training program, just enough for us to see the basic components of a health insurance management system. Insurer, what do they do? You know, they they uh, register the members into the system, and then there's the provider. What do they do? They... Uh, uh, they, they create claims uh, on behalf of the patient. So they're very, very basic uh, rough rules and roles that people do when you work with the health information, with the health insurance uh, management system. But of course, uh, you know, after this first course, when you want to get more training, we can tap our expert. Uh, resource persons in Germany and uh, Switzerland, Nepal, and Tanzania. So these are people who are actually using open EMIS in, in the real world. They're really using it for health insurance. And we can go further. But our goal right now for 2020 to 2021 is just to get all the medical schools at the same level of access to the introduction to open EMIS. Open EMIS, you can... You can Test it out right now by going to demo.openemis.org or uh, you can also download the software later on. And if you know how to do uh, cloud uh, installations, you can also install your own Open Emis uh, on your own cloud. Over. Okay, thank you. Over from me. Thank you, Dr. Sambat. Dear participant, if you have any question, you may type the question in the chat box. Next, uh, I would like to invite Dr. Win Min Han from Myanmar to share his experience. Thank you. Thank you, Ezra. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Ervin, for uh, bringing this um, interesting topic. So, um, Myanmar is still on the road to the universal health coverage, and then uh, we don't know when or how we can achieve this. But um, uh, until now, the um, health financing in the country is um, still primitive. And then a lot of um, institutions have struggled to understand what is uh, actually the financing meant to their institutions, especially the clinicians, um, uh, mostly to deal with the um, out-of-pocket uh, patients give the medical cost by out of pocket. So the clinicians have very um, uh, minimum knowledge about the um, health economics. But uh, uh, definitely there's some interest in uh, increasing about the, the um, uh, head financing in some areas, for example, like in some NGOs dealing with the um, extra funding, a lot of um, uh, public health institutions dealing with this kind of a large amount of um, resources. That might be um, a good opportunity to start from that uh, kind of place to uh, how to uh, introduce this kind of um, uh, health financing concept into the uh, clinicians. So um, uh, I think it's very interesting to combine the head informatics idea into the head financing because it's made people to, to understand more easily or it's uh, people can understand that this is data-driven uh, evidence and then uh, people can use this kind of information integrated in their um, uh, in institutions or in their workplace. So I guess um, it's there's a lot of things to do in in, in terms of um, uh, uh, dealing with the uh, engagement from different aspects, but uh, there's uh, definitely there's some interest from the Ministry of uh, Health and Sports 
about the head in economics or head financing, uh, but um, combining the idea of have uh, have informatics with the head financing will be a new for them. And then I would definitely love to share this um, talk with them uh, uh, for uh, this talk by the Dr. Evan to some of the relevant people, if I may. So um, uh, I would love to see if their responses and then I can talk with them and then see if I can reach you all again. But for now, I don't have a lot of information about this uh, because um, I'm not actually working at the Institute at the moment, but I'm totally love to hear the responses and reach you back again. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Win Minhan. Thank you. We'll uh, help you out. Just let us know what information you will need. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Win Minhan. Thank you, Dr. Elvin. Next, uh, I would like to invite Dr. Pam Tamdat from Vietnam to share his experience. Okay, thank you, everybody. Um, thank, Sorry. Uh, thank for Dr. Anvin for presentation. Uh, even now, um, we have we have a master program uh, in uh, in uh, we call we call a health economics, not call health financing, and we have a, a master program uh, in uh, hospital management master. Uh, and in, in this in this in this program, we we include. Uh, we include uh, the financing and uh, economics uh, management in health, uh, but we, we we don't have any uh, program related to uh, related to the health informatics. Um, even though even though we have uh, some doctors in the health informatics from uh, study from the Korea. Uh, and uh, when I when I, when Mr. Uh, the Dr. Anvil present, and uh, have a, have a have a certification uh, in health informatics, I think we can cooperate together because in Vietnam, in the draft of the you know, digital health uh, program of Vietnam in uh, from the 2021 to the 2000. 25, we then, uh, now we develop a, a program for training, uh, for training the health informatics for every every staff in, in health sector. Um, because we think that we think that uh, the education in the uh, in the health sector in the health informatics is very important for the uh, digital health transformation. Uh, but uh, I, but in the uh, in the Minister of Health uh, in the in the health health university, uh, we uh, I think we cannot uh, build uh, the health informatic uh, informatics program, but we can build uh, this program for all the university in Vietnam and on the uh, on the, uh, in the research institute you know, uh, related to informatics in Vietnam. Uh, related to the open image system, uh, even now we have uh, 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 in uh, insurance insurance uh, management system. This system is connect uh, connected with uh, almost the hospital in Vietnam, uh, and, 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 and uh, each, each, each month you know, the, on, on the hospitals in Vietnam in uh, push data push uh, the, the the data. You know, to the health insurance in uh, health, insu health insurance management system and the and as the, you know, the insurance staff can uh, monitoring the health data in this system but uh, i think if we if we can cooperate to implement open image in vietnam uh, for, uh, for for studying it's very good and, uh, and after this after this uh, after this pre present, uh, presentation, I can uh, I will send uh, Mr. Anvin to email uh, and uh, and ask uh, and ask uh, Mr. An uh, Dr. Anvin for how to cooperate and how to deliver the education uh, as a, the health informatics uh, a pro uh, education uh, program to Vietnam, and we can even we can uh, issue uh, the uh, issue the. Uh, the, the certif uh, and him certification for the people in Vietnam. Thank you, Mr. Dad. We will wait. We will wait for your email. Uh, we will support your team. If you have uh, people you want trained, we will. Yes, train. it, it is the uh, uh, my our strategy for the 
uh, digital health transformation in Vietnam, we need to build up the, 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 the expert for the digital health. It's very important for us. And, this, and job retention is a good news for us. For, certain, for we can, we can, we, we have a, a direction you know, for doing this. Thank you. By the way, uh, Mr. Dan is the enterprise architect in the Ministry of Health. So uh, last night we had an enterprise architect uh, presentation also from our friends in Australia. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Azurin, I think Dr. Good evening. Dr. is ready. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Pam and Dr. Elvin. Dr. Takutan, you would like to... Yeah, yeah, yes. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Elvin for your presentation. Uh, based on your presentation, for the health informatics and health financing is really important for the management of the... Uh, data for patient care or education or research and also the administration. Um, according to the health sector reform, uh, second edition for, for Laos uh, since 2021 to 2030, uh, we provide the overreach three policy framework of the SDG and uh, USC target. So in terms of the health information system de 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 uh, developments and also health financing are the, the key component of the health sector reform for, for 10 year period. Uh, so the, I not uh, have the for information, but I have less information about the health information and also the uh, health financing from University of Health Science in Laos. And uh, they had the rules to building and upkeep and the strengthening of the health staff and improve the quality of the human resource uh, development, particularly the postgraduate students. Now the University of Health Science in Laos, the cooperated with the Hongkong University, Thailand, and also the university in Vietnam. But uh, there are only the two courses of the uh, Master of Public Health and also the topical uh, thesis. But uh, for the health information and economics, um, we don't have the cost. So for, for your presentation and for your uh, experience, it's really useful for for the PDR to further cooperate with you to develop the course of training on the health information and also the economics. Because uh, for my department, I work at the Department of Planning and Cooperation. We are responsible for the develop five-year plan a five-year strategy for the health sector for the own country. So the health economy is the, and health information is the key, key uh, component for us to develop, to achieve the, our targets in now. Um, and also the further um, software that you mentioned, uh, or I miss, I think, uh, maybe we can further <laughs> further learn learn from you. Interesting to to know and to learn uh, from your experience. Um, thank you. I don't have the question <laughs> because the uh, Ila we, we lack of the uh, information on uh, two topics. Thank you, Dr. Awin and uh, moderator. Thank you, Dr. Sorsavan. Um, uh, we we will and ask you uh, to introduce us to the University Health Sciences, UHS, so we can um, exchange information on how we can transfer open image know-how to them. Uh, we might also be there uh, in uh, February in Vientiane yeah. when you have your convergence workshop. Uh, maybe, uh, if not, yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of the Asian people with you and Dr. Chancelli. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, this yes. morning, I, Chancellor, we 
hope uh, you and your team can join us in the February. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we'll try to go there. Uh, I, 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 I want to get my dose of Nem Cow. My favorite <laughs> rice ball. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we will uh, connect with you, Dr. Sorsavan, to find out how we can connect with the University Health Sciences in Laos also. And also, we can start planning for your convergence workshop together with Dr. Chancellor. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sorsavan. Um, we don't have a lot of time, but I'd like to hear from our chair, Dr. Bunchai, their own experience with um, health insurance and health informatics, Dr. Bunchai. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Alvin, for your very good presentation. Uh, the terminology of the health financing and health economic is uh, very close. Uh, when we're talking about the health financing, uh, because uh, we aim for the universal healthcare coverage. And uh, uh, health financing is one part of the health economics. I think that is what uh, uh, Vietnam uh, 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 I mean, uh, working with. Uh, uh, I think this is a, uh, when if you, I think all of you familiar with the WHO health system uh, module that they talk, they they talking, uh, they they said that the to have the health good health system, the good quality care, uh, lower lower in cost, and uh, and also the efficient health system for the uh, uh, for the uh, 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 epidemics uh, management. This need six building blocks and those six building blocks is good governance and leadership uh, healthcare uh, healthcare work uh, workforce uh, the medi medication uh, medicine vaccine and also uh, medical technology and the fourth one uh, the fourth one is the health financing the the fifth one is the health information uh, you can see that that's, I think the, for the governance, workforce, uh, uh, med med medicine, uh, financing, uh, and information, I, I forgot one. But these six building blocks have to interact and work. And for the, uh, uh, that's why uh, health economic, health financing is really close related to the uh, to the information system and the information system feed all the supporting to all the component that I mentioned. I mentioned this because of uh, in Thailand, uh, 20 years ago, we are in the policy level. They said that uh, they would like, uh, they, uh, if they want to uh, reform the healthcare, to achieve the universal healthcare coverage, they have to learn about uh, uh, health economics and how they're gonna uh, moving the resources. So we have training many, many uh, master PhD uh, going to train, uh, to train in the uh, uh, Europe and um, uh, America, Australia, and they come back and there is the one that, uh, 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 forming the policy for the universal healthcare. At the time, they know that uh, they need the information system, but uh, they, we don't have, uh, at, at, at that time, they focus on uh, mobilize the, the, uh, the resources. That's why we starting to develop the Thai DRG 15 years ago. That is the financing tool for, tool for, the, uh, for, uh, for the financing. And along the way, uh, health leaders and also technical, uh, usually doctor, they know that information is uh, important and they, and they direct important more on support the administration of the, uh, uh, of the healthcare, uh, uh, to support the healthcare financing. Uh, uh, just only 10 years, that uh, we starting to have people who train on the informatics. 
uh, and as a formal trained informatics, before that, uh, we don't have uh, people who formally train informatics, but people are knowing to deal with the health management information system. And this is uh, uh, after we just getting more people in the informatics and the uh, university also starting providing uh, graduate degree of the informatics like the Mahidon University and several university are uh, uh, creating this. Right now we have a master and PhD degree uh, international uh, uh, programs in Rama Tibadi Medical School, Mahidon University. Uh, this is to uh, this is very special to the AHIN uh, our network because uh, we can we can uh, 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 we can get the support from the PR Faber Foundation to uh, strengthening informatics, uh, health informatics uh, workforce in CLMV countries. And this year, the first year that uh, we get uh, two scholarship uh, from uh, uh, PR Faber Foundation to provide for the CLMV. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, application from Vietnam, from Laos, uh, only application from Cambodia uh, and Myanmar uh, and Indonesia. Uh, we got uh, two students. I think Chanan also uh, participate in this. Uh, Chanan is one of the students that uh, uh, now study the master degree in uh, data science for healthcare and clinical informatics uh, in, in, in Rama Tibadi Mahidon University. Another one is the uh, is the uh, uh, health, uh, the the people who work in health IT in healthcare in uh, uh, in in Indonesia in in, uh, in Indonesia uh, one is from Philippines that uh, um, uh, got the scholarship from the Mahidon University for the PhD and because of the COVID she cannot come so this is just to mention that next year we 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 think we can get another another uh, uh, opportunity to get the funding. So I encourage all of you uh, to, to tell your colleagues that uh, if you uh, uh, think uh, you, uh, to, to build the workforce, you can try to apply for the scholarship or even not have the scholarship, you can apply and get the scholarship from the other. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bunchai. Maybe they should join AHIM because uh, if you join AHIM, then you will become eligible for the scholarships in Masters in uh, Thailand. So please join us. Um, you can go to ahim.org and click on subscribe. Also, um, Dr. Bunchai did not share their secret weapon in Thailand for achieving UHC. They have a very good civil registration system. I think that's what we don't have in the Philippines right now. That's why we're, it's, we don't have the strong foundations for universal health coverage. But definitely the, the experts that they've trained in health financing and health informatics, they're really, really harvesting the benefits of that. We've reached the top of the hour, so I don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you very much. This, recording, uh, this webinar has been recorded. We, can, we will share the recording to you in the PowerPoint slides, and I hope you can also share this uh, with your own network. And we'll see you in our, uh, in our next webinar. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Anvil. Good night. Good night. Bye.